Welcome back to another video from the Garage Bowling Alley. I was asked if I could do a video on the proper way to do a respot. If you've never respotted pins, like say the bowler's bowling pin falls over, they need the seven back up or whatever, there's an easy way to do it. It's not that hard. Some people just get a pin fork, reach up under the curtain, knock everything over, cycle the pin center. That's one way of doing it. Or getting a pin fork and standing the pin back up. But if you're on top, this is the easiest way to do it. Let me show you. Now, this is the second ball selector right here. When you're in first ball, you can just push this forward, go to second ball. The newer machines, is kind of like a C-shaped thing. It's like two uh, C's facing each other. This is the older style. It's a lot easier to put this on second ball. But if you have a second ball solenoid, you can grab that and do it. It's a lot easier than the linkage or the uh, link itself. Mine, here you go. Second ball, there we go. Drops the deck holding hook, pin setters, and second ball now. All right, first thing you want to do is lock your pin gate. Now, no more pins can go over. I got 10 pins in the deck ready to go down, so I'm basically going to try to empty the machine out. So I go to second ball, which we've already done, and reset the machine, cycle it through. and smooth all right so you got the pin gate locked up on first ball go to second ball again cycle it again okay say they called for the seven pick you one up here drop it in the bucket and over here on this side is this linkage right here the one that sticks up that goes uh, down at a slight angle when you push that forward That'll bring the machine out of 180 because right now the machine, the rake is going to go down, go back and stop because waiting for pins. Anytime you have one in a 180, you can push this forward right there. See that engage the clutch arm over here. So I'll reset that here. Back in 180. Watch right here. Clutch arm is engaged. So when I turn the machine back on now, Machine goes down, sets that seven pin, and then put it in second ball. Now in the second ball selector right here, see where my arm is. Like I say, the other one's like two C's together, and it's hard to reach in and push that link forward unless you have maybe a second ball solenoid on there. You can grab the, the arm right there to pull it forward. But if you don't, what you can do is before it gets down to 270 on that forward part of the arm, just go ahead and push it forward because it'll just slide over to that. If you wait till past 270 and you push it, it has to pop forward, and it's a lot harder to do it after 270. But if you go ahead, like <clears throat> when it's got 180, deck is going down to set pins, you can reach in and hold this thing, and it won't pop forward. It'll just come up, and that'll be it. So if you are loading up your respot, and one of them includes the five, you can throw a five pin through this chute here that'll go down in the bucket in any position except when it's waiting right here. If it's waiting for the five pin and you put a pin through there, it's going to open the spider, all the pins are going to drop. But you see, I can put the five through here and it goes right in the bucket, no problem. Doesn't affect anything. The turret stays locked. The only time the turret will unlock is when it's right here at this position, then it's going to spring open unlock and you're going to have a mess on your hands and also uh, some of the other ones if you can't get a pin in a bucket for some reason you can bring it out of 180 if you go quick enough you can drop it into a bucket while the pin setter is on its way down like if i can't get the nine pin in the bucket because i got everything blocking it right now i can go ahead and bring it out of 180 and drop the pin in the bucket as it's going down let me show you that real quick Okay, I'm in 180 right now. I'm getting ready to flip the lever on the side of the gearbox. I'm going to drop the 9 in while it's going down at the same time. Right there. Drop it in. There you go. Otherwise, you can position the turret into a different position and be able to get the pin in the bucket if you can't get it in, you know, when it's not open. And once you finish doing your respot, don't forget, push the pin over into the turret. To unlock the pin gate just push a pin over into the turret get things going again sometimes mechanics get in a hurry they do the respot and then 
they get up and run off to go get another call or something, they forget that they locked the pin gate. Pin setter is going to go into a 180 on the next cycle. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video from the garage.